Russia. I'm Jiu Biu and I'm the team leader. My name is Stuart and my position is Sniper. So how did, how did all these team secret thing happen with you guys? So it's after we won in the PMCO Malaysia Finals, a few eSports organizations actually approached us and Team Secret was one of them. And in the end, we chose Team Secret. So any support that they have given you so far? Because we've just signed contract with Team Secret about two weeks ago before we arrived in Shanghai. So there's still a lot of things in pre preparation now. Do you guys prepare for this tournament like any training schedules or, or any specific strategies that you guys work on? So for our team, we will train about three to six hours a day and we will join the custom room with the other teams, like the Thailand teams and Vietnam and the wildcard teams and so on. And about strategy, we don't really have a particular strategy because it very much depends on the situation and how the circle goes in game. Who do you think that, that is your, your uh, biggest rival in this particular tournament? Biggest rival for us, no doubt, be yeah, RLQ from Thailand. RLQ Athena. Do you think that the, the latest update for uh, SMG uh, submachine guns actually affected your performance? I think it doesn't really affect our performance. What, what, is, what is your favorite guns uh, uh, in the game? Uh, maybe all of you can you know, tell us your favorite guns. For me, my favorite gun is M4 with 6x. Yeah. For me, my favorite gun is AWM and Escort. Uh, for me, my favorite gun is uh, SKS with Ekans. For me, it's an M16. I got a question about, like, does your family actually support you on, on playing PUBG Mobile? Or what do they think about eSports? Do they support you guys on eSports? Uh, actually, for me, uh, I, when I told my family they wasn't support me because I was still studying before. But uh, and after I discuss with, discuss with them, they actually let me postpone for my studies for one year and let me try to for this. Yeah, and for my family, they they didn't quite support support my decision at first, but it's after we as a team have gained some achievements that like we won in the tournaments and and etc. that they actually think that oh it's actually a feasible plan for me and that's when they give me all the support <laughs> for me is fully support la. I'm trying to talk with my parents a few times already and now totally they all support me so I suppose previously they, they not really support yeah right okay uh, uh there's actually one specific question for you too um, can you explain to us why you prefer using the claw style? Natural, my own personal preference. When I first started playing this game, I adopted this claw style. Yeah, like from the very beginning. So it's just some, I know, some natural preference. Okay, um, what do you think the future of uh, PUBG Mobile esports? That direction. Okay, so for every mobile game, we know that there's a lifespan for it and for PUBG Mobile, I think that for the next few years to come, it will still be there. So I think, yeah, I think it's a feasible, I think it's a feasible plan for us to be a professional eSport player for PUBG Mobile because it should be a long-term thing, yeah. It should last a few more years. As a professional team players, what do you guys think of current landscape in esports? Do you think there's anything that you guys want to improve on it, or there's some problem? I'm talking about in Malaysia expect. Like, uh, uh, is there anything that you guys want to improve on it, or any comments you guys want to do, or, or anything that you guys want to mention? So I think that there has been a lot of improvements for esports in Malaysia because ten years ago, there isn't 
such things like tournaments, competitions. We may even have those internet connection issue. So as of now, I think that esports in Malaysia is doing quite well already. There has been a lot of huge improvements and we have like all the tournaments every month, or a couple of tournaments in a month even. And, and yeah, we can actually be a full-time gamer because of this. So I'd like to thank my family for giving me all the mental support and I'd like to thank our supporters for believing in us and also thanks to Team Secret for giving us the, the opportunity to be here today.